Universe in disenchantment. Rational part. Rational superior. Above rational superior superior rational. Above superior rational rational court. Above the rational court. Supreme justice to all and everything. Above the supreme justice to all and everything contentious universal. Above contentious universal. Supreme voice from other worlds knowledge of the return to the place of origin. Author. Rational superior. Universe in disenchantment rational immunization first volume. Where everyone came from and where everyone is going to. How you came and how you are going. The beginning and the end of the world the salvation of everyone. The true light of the rational animal is the light of his world of origin, the rational light from the rational world. We are in the full phase of the rational apparatus. This is the discovery of two worlds, the electric and magnetic one, which is the world we inhabit, and the other one, which is rational plane, from where we came and which gave consequence to this one, because we deformed ourselves into rational animals. And so, with the continuous reading of this knowledge, one acquires the rational vision and the living being will see rational plane, the place of origin of everyone. In this knowledge, the revelation of the two worlds. The world has already passed by infinity of phases. We are now in the rational apparatus phase. It is the last phase of material life. The phase where everyone will be linked to your world of origin, the rational world. From there, you will receive all precise orientations for your equilibrium here in this life. The true rational phase, when you will get in contact and communicate with rational superior, receiving all orientations transmitted by rational superior for your equilibrium here in this life. The human being is the most monstrous parasite that exists on earth, due to the hideous crimes that he commits against the natural laws. Man is a vague animal without destiny, which was born on this earth without knowing why or what for. In this work, we will know why. Knowledge of return to the place of origin of all, rational plane, our world of origin, where everyone came from and where everyone is going to, how came from and how is going to. The salvation of the rational animal can only be done by the world of his origin, the rational world, and no one else. This is the discovery of two worlds the electric and magnetic one, which we inhabit, and the rational plane, where we came from and which gave consequence to this one we inhabit. With the continuous reading of this knowledge, one acquires the rational vision and the living being will see rational plane, the place of everyone's origin. Attention! There it is the glorifying point of the rational animal, rational immunization. Everyone, without effort, very naturally, seeing within their homes the rational light, and being served within their homes. Not having necessity to go to any place, because within your homes you will be orientated in everything, you will receive all orientations for your equilibrium. It is as you are seeing, the natural knowledge, and not science of someone's imagination. It is no art, because science is art, but from up here, from the other world, rational plane. Then, it comes from the other world, which is rational plane, all the precise orientations within your homes or wherever you are to everyone's equilibrium. Therefore, there are no temples, no synagogues, no preaching houses to preach rational immunization. No, each one within one's home will receive all graces of your world of origin. The origin is rational and you will receive all precise orientations within your homes. From the place of your origin, you will receive all precise orientations, wherever you are. Therefore, there is no need for temples, or synagogues for everyone being orientated within their homes or wherever you are. You will receive all precise orientations from your world of origin, rational plane. And so, it is time for the rational animals vibrate of joy, everyone vibrating of joy, due to having found your true world of origin, Due to having found the true root and for not being expected such a thing, the emotion will be very great. And so, vibrating of joy, the contentment is general, such that the rational animal will not know how to thank for so much joy, the divine grace reached of the definitive change to your true world of origin, rational plane. This knowledge is not for the commerce of the exploration, but for the salvation of all. This means, 
The return of everyone to your world of origin, the rational world. The true world of the rational animal is the rational world. This knowledge is accompanied by an emissary of the book's owner, rational superior, to do what is necessary for the reader. Note. Due to the human being is an astrological center that is why with time, you had to arrive to the conclusion of finding within yourselves rational immunization. In it is the spokesman of the truth of truths, due to the nature of the living beings being adequate to the nature which made them, because you are formed by this nature, and that is why you depend on it to live, being, then, formed by seven particles and depending on them. Asterisk asterisk. Responsibles note. This work is the fruit of rational immunization. In it is expressed, in the most simple and clear form, all the knowledge of the formation of the world and of the beings who inhabiting it, the clarifications of the origin of all, for the before being of all, what you were, how you came to be what you are through the degeneration and the deformation of nature. This is not a knowledge extracted from knowledge of this world, but from the truth of truths, dictated by rational superior, entity from rational plane, through his representative, responsible for this addition. Manuel J. A. C. I. N. T. H. O. Coelho. Rational plane. Rational plane where the rationals were with their progress, where we came from and where we are going to, through rational immunization. Rational part the plane that was not yet ready to enter in progress. 1. They started to progress on their own account. 2. In this progress started the light focus that was formed by the virtues that the rational were losing. 3. In this progress already at the end of the extinction of those bodies. 4. In this degree, it took a long eternity for the formation of the bodies. 5. In this degree, they already understood one another by yelps. 6. In this formation, they started to loosen the voice, they were stutterer. 7. More advance in stuttering, the formation of the moon started. 8. The virtues started to get together, the virtues of the plain and the resin, from there the stars originated. 9. More advanced in stuttering, but, that advancement was still not yet of understanding. They kept loosening their voice. 10. Stuttering with some understanding, but very vague. 11. With a little bit more understanding. 12. The resin with its deformation was well developed. 13. The separation of the lands started. 14. Where the vegetation started, much different from this one, and the dilation of the organs. 15. The creation of the animals started and they started to make use of some vegetables. 16. The dilation of the organs started, until here they were eternal. 17. Where death started to appear. New creations. It took a long eternity being born and dying stuttering. 18. In this progress, the moon already appeared with its modifications, so did the stars. 19. The vegetation completely modified. There was already day and night. 20. New creations, new understandings. They already understood each other regularly. 21. In this progress came to be the first steps that are here now. Warning. Life and the organization of the organic beings are such that the organic beings get confused with life. Life is very clearly organized for those who know how to live. But for those who do not know how to live, life becomes disorganized and the organic beings persist on fighting, on the fight of life. For life to be well formed, well created, solid, equilibrated to the good living, it is needed that the organic beings and the organizations be all parallel or adequate to the way that constitutes life, because life is also constituted of various organizations and various means of life's power. Life's power is in what the organizations can do to be equivalent to life. What is it worth to the living being has life, live and not know how to live? It is worth nothing, because the more he tries to organize in life, the more he gets disorganized, and getting disorganized, more the suffering has devoured it and more suffering. It is like the tide, always against the tide in a rough sea. And so, these storms that reign in the living being's life, that wreck this precious life, due to the storms created, because he does not know how to live, and the living being keeps imagining and saying, the more I seek good, 
The more it distances from me, the farther it gets, perhaps in the infinite, because I do not see what I will do with my life. And the living being stays in this bitter twilight, in this dream of a desperate dreamer, in this dream of tears, in this hellish nightmare, thinking a series of things and not knowing how to attain his ideal. Introduction In this work are all the teachings of the beginning and the end of the world dictated by rational superior to administrate the rational knowledge. What is this rational knowledge based on? It is based on the true personality. In the rational knowledge are all bases of the supreme being to all and to everything, to get everyone to know where you came from, where you are going to, and how you are going. Is it spiritism? No. Spiritism is this enigma that everyone dreams they have, but never proved and will be not able to prove it. That is why it is spiritism, a thing or a cause in experience and where there are experiences, there are the enigmas. Therefore, spiritism is enigmatic and the rational has no mystery. Rationally, all the mysteries are solved clearly, in a lapidated way, solidly. Spiritism means, experiencing, inexperience, shrewd, piercing, taking advantage of, always with two intentions, good and bad, an explanation that cannot explain the deep meaning of the material being, always staying in experiences, without solution, for keeping all mysteries, all enigmas, and all the enchantment. There they are the reasons for suffering and weeping. Those who live in experience do not reach the reason or the conclusions of things. Spiritism, philosophy, a thing which no one can trust. Those who sail in experience do not know whether they are right or not. Spiritism and abode adrift is the same thing, because they ignore and make mystery of their origins and maintain the mysteries of everything. Therefore, spiritism is a call to alert everyone about the existence of the inhabitants of this immense vacuum and other places much beyond from that vacuum. That is why spiritism is on singular, reason which it never went any further. Then, we, from the astral superior, came here to guide everyone, to clarify everyone about those mysteries, to disenchant everyone, prove the reason for all that confusion, and prove the reason of everything and for everything. Therefore, the rational knowledge given by us, inhabitants from the astral superior, is the real knowledge of the reason of this life, of the reason of this world, of the before being of everything that composes this world, and the reason why everyone is unaware of their origin the reason of life, of everything and everyone. This is only possible in the rational knowledge, in what is rational, in purity and in the truth of truths, and not in the way you live there, at the mercy of spiritism, for being something in experience, gather all the false truths. Who lives in experience is not with the truth, but with a particle of truth. That particle of truth is what animates everyone within those experiences of spiritism and puts everyone in doubt with the false faith, because faith is of the false conductor. If the faith were not from the false conductor, no one would be betrayed by it. If faith was the real thing and if it worked, everyone would win with the power of faith and no one would suffer. There would be no suffering because everyone with faith would solve all of fine, all of good or bad. Due to faith being an enigma from this enchantment that is why you keep the suffering and weeping, because if it worked, no one would suffer. Everyone uses faith and its powers for all formalities, for all effects, and for all solutions. If faith worked, there would not be miseries of all sizes, of all kinds, or suffering. But, because it is worthless, everyone suffers, the rich suffers, the remedied suffers, the haves and have-nots suffer. If it worked, nothing of this would exist and because it does not work, all of this exists. Thus, the knowledge given by rational superior is the rational knowledge. It is very different from this flabbiness, where everything is flabby, only exists in words, but nothing in reality. Much fertile knowledge will come with the progression of the rational elaboration, given by rational superior. And so, everyone, each one in one's category, the inhabitants of earth, the inhabitants from the space, which is this immense vacuum, the inhabitants of other places, and the inhabitants from the astral superior, all will arrive there. But let's take it easy, learning all lessons from the correligionaries of the rational elaboration. Doubts are for those who know nothing. With the progression of the writing, all doubts will vanish, 
because what is rational is complete and what is science is from the enchantment and incomplete. You are used to the science of the enchantment and the science of the enchantment is full of doubts. You need to realize what is rational has no doubts, mysteries, enigmas, or enchantment. It unveils everything with the truth. Therefore, rational is above everything and everyone and the science of the enchantment and of the enchanted ones is below everyone and everything because they are creation of the philosophers that keep philosophizing, to be or not to be. A philosophy created by the enchanted ones who do not know what they are doing and those who do not know what they are doing keep everyone in doubt, which is the reason why everyone keeps mistrusting everything, everyone and oneself, due to living under this scientific philosophy, created, invented and forged by the inhabitants of earth. Enigmatic beings, subject without solution, which keeps everyone in doubt, as you live there until today, without any solution and saying, in the world everything is illusion and nothing else. The Rosary of Life Life is a rosary of beads. Each bead has a past, each bead a period of life, and each period with good and bad trances. And so, forming this rosary, very easy for whom want to learn. This rosary is enchanted, which no one ever disenchanted, by knowing that all inhabitants of this world are enchanted ones. Why enchanted? Because this world is enchanted and for being enchanted, everyone lives in experiences, from experience to experience and always to know. Why is it enchanted? Because everything is conserved mysteriously. Why is it enchanted? Because no one never gave solution, until now, I, rational superior. Why is it enchanted? Because everything is enclosed in infinity, mysteriously, without solution. Why is it enchanted? Because no one knows how this was done, until now, I, rational superior, explaining everything, bit by bit, with clear, solid, consolidated proofs, and proofs without contradictions. So is the rosary of life, which all enchanted ones do not know, but will know by me, or be it, rational immunization. The living being with rational immunization gives solution to everything, based and proved by all means, by all ways, in any way, pure and clean. Because there it is, the rosary of life, for all, universally. Everyone will be immunized through the writing of the universal redemption. In this rosary is all the life of the infant. The immunization is completely different from spiritualization, it is a natural thing, and the living being, with such a treasure, has abundance in everything. Rational immunization will brighten everyone, driving everyone to reach the natural, due to this one being one of the most elevated virtues, the highest of all in the world. And so, the base of everything is in rational immunization. For the living being to become immunized, it must read daily and through this reading, becoming immunized. Once immunized, everything comes in the hands of the living being, little by little, the welfare arising, getting everything he wishes and much beyond. Rational immunization will be reached by the constancy in reading. The living being, as it reads, will feel, little by little, its influence, until becomes integrally immunized. To become immunized, the living being may take months or years. Everything depends on the living being, on the constancy in reading. Those who want to reach it sooner, do your part and the slackers will take much longer to reach its benefits. And so, rational immunization will be and must be the greatest brilliant common to all, universally. Why common? Because it is a natural thing. Why natural? Because everyone's nature is made for that adaptation. Then, the living beings ask, and why did not it arrive before in the world? I say, everything arrives in its time. The time had not yet arrived and now it has, since long. There is no plant that bears its fruit before its time. Everything has its time. And rational immunization, can it be practiced anywhere? It can, because the living being, after immunized, is always immunized, day and night, night and day. The living beings ask, and what is needed to get it? Read daily, that is what is needed to get it in a short time. The reading gives knowledge, it instructs the living being and the living being goes on seeing the effects redouble each time more. And does it restrict the freedom of the living being? 
In no way. Is there any responsibility? None. What responsibility is there if the living being knows everything that he needs to do or not to do? It is a thing that instructs the living being to face it as great worthiness from all points of view. Yes, it is from the immunization that comes out everything the living being needs. And those who read every day will reach it earlier and those who do not read will get it later. If they were to get it in a year by reading every day, it may take two, three, and even longer, depending on the carelessness of the living beings. With the immunization, the living being becomes happier in everything, getting to reach such an elevated point that he never imagined. Everything is developed by the most powerful force in the world, which is rational immunization. The bees in their hives, all working and greeting the great orient, the rational, which is here. Orient means, the orienting point, the maximum point in elevation. All of those bees working toward their own emancipation with all attention turning to the honey of honeys that is over here. Honey means all of good, all of better, everything even beyond good. Thus, the bees of both sexes, all in fury to win, each one doing its part for the great advancement of themselves. This reading represents the hive and I, the master, providing the supply of honey, teaching the bees to produce the precious liquid that is called everyone's happiness. The happiness that shines in the world is a happiness without base and a happiness without base fails of being happiness and exposes the living beings to the life of trances, always seeking happiness and the more you seek, the farther it always gets. And others, going through insignificant moments of vague hope to be happy, dying and without getting such happiness, which in the world is so much talked about, but never found, because there is no one in the world that can say, I am happy. Because when it is well in one aspect, it is not well in another. When it is happy in one aspect, it is unhappy about another. That is why such happiness was never found. Why? Because the world is of battles and where there are battles, there is suffering and there is no happiness. Some fight for love, others for business, others to better themselves in life, others against diseases, others to meet with their ideals, hoping for this, hoping for that, hoping to get what they want. So, life is of battles and where there are battles, there cannot be happiness. There is indeed only suffering and sacrifice. Fights the rich, fights the poor, everyone fights. Therefore, if nature is not happy, is not balanced, how can you be balanced? Once not being balanced, you are not happy. Whether itself is unbalanced, because it is offspring of this unbalanced nature. Sometimes too cold, sometimes an unbearable cold that castigates, and sometimes kills. Rain, wind, finally, exposed there to nature. Illnesses of all forms and of all kinds. Among all those cliffs, facing all those dangers of life and many times to the point of almost losing life. Therefore, if you are offspring of an unbalanced nature, how can the living beings be happy, if they are unbalanced? Happiness is a word only in name, made to tame and relieve those who do not know life, as one says, do this, to see if you are happy. And always looking for happiness, but never finding it. A mother, what happiness can she have? always worrying about her kids. A father, what happiness can he have, worrying the same way? And because they are worrying, they curse themselves, suffer, fight, and face all difficulties. The sun, the rain, the morning chill, endless worries. This is to prove to you that happiness always stayed in hope, and for that, there it is the life of adventures, on the uncertainty of everything and of yourselves. What is of happiness? Where is it? Only with rational immunization it can be reached because I prove that the immunized living being is a happy living being, is a living being always right in everything and where there is the right thing, there is happiness. What is right lives right and not in uncertainty, as everyone lives. I, with rational immunization, prove and confirm how everyone is happy, because the immunized living being has the solutions to everything with certainty. He knows what it is and what is not, he does not live in illusion and receiving the strokes of illusion. What unhappiness! The living being rationally immunized can say for sure, because he proves what he says, I am happy. And all rationally immunized ones are happy, 
Like in the future the whole world will be due to everyone embracing rational immunization with open arms for the happiness of themselves. Who is it who wants to be unhappy? No one. And so, rational immunization reigning universally, everyone becoming master of oneself and obeying to only one, rational superior. Because everyone will be immunized, everyone will understand each other. The way you live, spiritualized, no one understands each other, not even oneself, which is the reason why you are always misunderstanding one another. It is proved that happiness does not exist, but it will now exist with rational immunization, because all-knowing, there is understanding among all and this hellish grave will end, the sufferings of life will end as will end the complaints, the agonies and happiness will shine among all because everyone will understand each other and where everyone understands one another, there is happiness. Therefore, care to read, be constant in the reading for the happiness of yourselves. You never learned how to be happy, now we're beginning to learn and to learn you need to read consecutively. Yes, learn to be happy, not as the teachings of the world are, lessons of unhappiness and not of happiness, but with the lessons from rational immunization, which makes the living being happy, everything of good arriving to you, everything of good increasing to you, always multiplying. The living being in possession of rational immunization will continue to read other things of great use about the rational points. Now it is the beginning. It is needed that the living being be constant in reading for you to reach rational immunization faster. Therefore, those bees in this hive with the honey of salvation from all points of view, and many for not reading, waste time, delaying their own happiness. The immunized living being can say that he is complete in everything, everything brought and resolved by rational immunization. Therefore, there is nothing to think about other than to read every day and the more, the better, to see everything resolved faster and to have the solutions to everything as soon as possible, because in the immunization is everything that the living being needs, it is the solution of everything and much beyond. There it is the plant of happiness, rational immunization. Immunization means salvation. Saved yourself, freed yourself, redeemed the sins, embargoed all bitter trances, embargoed the unhappiness. All of those proofs, solid and very solid, clear, clean, crystalline and pure, you will find in the writing, in this very conjuration, bit by bit, the proofs rising within the living being himself who is becoming immunized and seeing the transformation happening like from water to wine, always towards bettering in everything, proofs consolidated and consolidating by all instructions that I expose from rational immunization, or of its results, unknown by all in the world, who never heard about rational immunization. Until now, that since long this brilliant of brilliance has been born here, this treasure of treasures, for the equilibrium of everyone over all points of view. Immunization means, richness of the richnesses, power of the powers, the invisible snow of happiness superposed to the elevated light of all high beings, of all crystalline and clean virtues. Equilibrium over all points of view, everyone walking in equilibrium, everyone understanding and comprehending one another. Then, the living being asks, and is this for now? I say, for the universe being aware, it will be soon. This is to your time. The infant asks, and everyone will reach it. Will we see this shine in the universe? You will. Will we see it shine among all? You will. Will we see everyone shine with that? You will. Who is it that wants to give up the right for the doubtful? Who is it that does not want to become greater in all points of view and elevate yourself? Who is it that wants to suffer? No one. Who is that in the world who does not have any ambitions? All do. And so, it will spread through the entire world as a lightning. Everyone will want to see, everyone will want to know, everyone will adamantly want to get it, everyone will want to become immunized for their own good. Yes, everyone, universally, becoming immunized in an insignificant time. Rational immunization will give to all the plant of happiness through the rational writing, because in it is the reason of all, the reason for you to be the way you are, and the reason for the world to be the way it is, before everything has been as it is, how it was and why it was that way, why you stopped being what you were to become what you are, and why the world stopped to be the way it was to become what it is, 
Before it was what it was, how you were and why you were like it. Before you were like this, how you were and how you lived. How you stopped to live as you lived and what was the cause and origin of you come on transforming and deforming yourselves until you get to this deformation, and its conclusion. Finally, the proved and confirmed solution, solidly, pure, and crystalline by all ways, by all means for the strengthening of all of those who never thought nor imagined that such could come to the world. And so, everything comes on this transformation and before it, you will get to know everything. The beginning of the deformation and its entire path until it came to this point, bit by bit, the end of the deformation, the end of everyone and everything, where all of this is going to and where everyone is going to, which is where everyone came from and stopped to be what you were to become what you are now. With rational immunization, you will not be born there anymore, but instead of the bodies being born there, you will be born on the rational part. The immunization will care to transport the seeds, which are the origin of these bodies, to the rational part and here, then, forming other bodies, much different from those there, on the great plane up here, much beyond the sun, where are the rationals with their progress of purity, much different from that, and in this writing you will get to know this bit by bit. The formation of the bodies on earth derives from seven seeds. Those seeds, in particles, are in the following places, one in the sun, one in the moon, in the stars, in the water, in the earth, in the animals, and in the vegetables. That is why the body depends on those seven parts, on those seven particles, that, gathered, form the human body. The living being through rational immunization is immunized and the immunization will care to move those seven seeds, those seven particles, to the plane up here, rational. Up here, then, another body will be forming, much different from that one there and the living being through the immunization will no longer be born there. But up here, on rational plane, where everyone is pure, clean, and perfect, without defects. The progress is of purity, much different than that, and there is no suffering of any kind. These are some insignificant proofs to give the formation and show to the living beings that the knowledge is of equilibrium, returning to the place of origin because you will no longer be born there and while you live there with the spiritualization, you will never get beyond it. Yes, because while there is sun, moon, stars, water, earth, animals, and vegetables you will always be the same to be born there. And only through the immunization you will see the transformation from those seven parts to form there into these conditions to the natural state, which is up here, on the rational part. And so, everyone's happiness will be done, universally, through rational immunization and everyone reaching to your own places, from where you came. All of that you will get to know in the writing, because as you become immunized, those particles in the sun, in the stars, and in the other beings will be taken away. The sun will decrease its heat, its size, the moon, the stars, and after everyone is here, there will no longer be sun, moon, or stars. They will be disappearing under those conditions because the virtues from which they were formed will be moved to rational plane. All of this you will get to know in the writing, before being earth, what it was, before being water, what it was and why it was, from where everything started, before being sun, what it was, the beginning of the moon, stars, of everything and everyone. Therefore, do read with persistency, daily. This is the rational knowledge, of universal equilibrium of everyone, that is why the title of this work is Universe in. Disenchantment. The word disenchantment means happiness. Got disenchanted, became happy. One was enchanted and bitterly suffering. Now you will know bit by bit, in the writing with lapidated details the questions and answers to all capacities, things of this world, about what you know and did not know, about the reason of the world and the reason of everything. Here is the reason why I tell you who rational superior is, because all of that you will get to know in the writing. Time will show to all righteousness and the reason. Reason is confused with righteousness and righteousness is confused with reason because you know very well and are aware that the deformed righteousness is crooked. Deformed means all of the living beings of that earth, of that world, where the equilibrium cannot shine, because all are imperfects, full of defects, exposed to disequilibrium, unbalanced, without firm idea, 
Unless for caprice or hate and cannot be any other way because you are offspring of a nature that is unbalanced, all imperfect and that is why you try to lapidate it by all means and all ways to be able to live, to be able to appear which you are not. Now, the living being asks, and everything needs treatment. I say, an apparent treatment, treatment to pretend. Life is of appearances and everyone is treacherous, betrayers, pretending what they are and what they are not, thus persisting there the instinct of falsity, of human ferociousness, in contradiction to its being, because humanity, only by name and what shine is, yes, in humanity. What is life like that worth? It is worth a lot for the suffering of those who maintain it for the disillusions and receiving the most desperate strokes due to maintaining the appearances as an element of prestige. And so, the living beings in search of the happiness without base, because where the appearance is, it is not the happiness, and when the living being starts to get hit by the cruel blows, one after the other, it sees how it lives deluded about life, which appeared very good, but that results in very bad, because those who are not in disillusion are rare, all staying in the life of appearances, seeking for the truth and never finding it, always suspicious, distrustful about everything. With the thought always on the lookout, like one of those war cars that runs over everything it wants by convenience. The living being asks, and in the world, are all like it? I say, yes, and that is why the world is of suffering. The rich suffers, the poor suffers, the haves suffer, the have-nots suffer. All suffer. Then, the living being asks, and how can we stop being sufferers? How will be the abolition of suffering in the world? I say, it will take little. Everyone in the world is tired of suffering, see the generations and the durations how fantastic they are in their decrease. Why? Because suffering is unbearable, defeating big and small, rich and poor, by all means and all ways. And the infant keeps asking, how can the world be eradicated and saved by the divine consistency? I say, only through the knowledge provided by divinity, as these clarifications are provided by rational immunization. The infant asks further, and will everyone reach that grace? Is everyone's nature already made to reach it? And why has no one reached it? I reply, because only now appeared the instructions to reach it. And the living being proceeds, and how can the whole world get it? I reply, it is very practical, through books in everyone's reach. There in the world live those plebeians with their weak guts due to so much thinking and in the moment you read, the ratiocination is so much down that you finish reading and still cannot explain anything appropriately, needing to read constantly to keep rebuilding health, fortifying the mind and keeping what you read to have within yourselves the knowledge and being able to explain to the others. Since if the B plus A equals BA, that is B plus A equals BA, it takes time to enter in the head and you take years studying to learn so little, it is now necessary, much more advanced, that you read constantly for you to be able to spread any clarification and unfold into thoughts what it is and it is not. The lights of the world are vague illusions and so live the infants, drifting through these woods of bitterness, woods of that illusion, which wants to turn the world into an open sky and what everyone notices and sees, every day, is the sky of destruction, hell, where the demons suffer the consequences of those petals of serpent. And so, the world that is a passerine that created all of those passerines, which are of passage there, are born, grow, die, and disappear and the world being a passerine, creating all of those passerines, had to make it known to the living being that this world is also passenger, as all passerines of that world are passerines in passing. And the world being a passerine, creating those passerines and all the ramifications, had to come to know, as you will know, as you are starting to know, that this world is passing and ending the world, all passengers will end, arriving to their places, which is the rational part, already clarified. All living beings, drifting in this world like a passerine, passing through its passages, bearable and unbearable, without seeing the solution to all of those passages, in that declining world, full of apparent greatnesses, because you live in illusion, where there is nothing solid, starting with life itself, which all of a sudden is transformed into another life. Where are the solidifications of this world and of all that exists? In no place. Life is a project that builds itself, diminishes, and disappears. Where is the truth, 
if this life is not truthful, if this life were true, you would not die, you would be eternal. What is of truth in this world? Nothing, truths in the world are only apparent and appearances are not true. To start with life itself, which seems to be a great thing and from one minute to the next, everything ends. And so is this passerine, which is the world, with its passages, everyone and everything, because of everything had to come the day of all of its solutions, arriving now the time of all these certifications here done by rational superior. The solidification and the certification of all is rational immunization. And so, exposing this content to the small one and to the big one, because big is the world and all that are renowned in that fountain of lost ones, saying that life is that one and no one happy with their nature or their life. As says the proverb, the parrots speak well, but the waltz goes on and everyone depends on the beyond. That is why the world has always been considered among all as a mysterious thing, full of phenomenon. The world has always been taken as an undecipherable thing. No one knows who made it and the reason for the existence of everything. Always learning until die and never concluding anything, always keeping everything mysteriously. This life is the life of the enchanted ones, which are all living beings who live more in agony than happy, due to them living a passing life, of fights, where the ambitions are generated, the annoyances and unhappiness. The enchanted ones always stay in worries when facing life with the battles of suffering, fighting and always suffering in that life of enchantment. Enchantment means, torment, that is why life is a torment and all enchanted ones live tormented. When it is not for this thing, it is for another, when it is not for one thing, it is for another. Life, always full of torments, always with infinity of thoughts, good, bad or restless. There it is, the life of those who do not know how to live and do not know why they live, because they are enchanted ones and do not know why they are so. If they knew, since long they would have stopped suffering and then they would no longer be as they are. The disenchantment is in rational immunization. The immunized living being does not live as the enchanted ones live there. That is why this writing are named universe in disenchantment, done to disenchant those enchanted ones and disenchant the entire world. Saving everyone, changing everyone as from water to wine, changing the way to live, due to everyone being immunized and the immunized ones know everything. Enchantment means, sufferer without solution, convicted to suffer there and die afterwards, due to being enchanted. If you were not enchanted, you would not be a suffering one. If the living being since long knew what they were, also since long they would not be what they are. Now it is that you are starting to know, to stop being like you are, through rational immunization. Therefore, what is the enchanted one? It is a condemned one, it is a suffering one without arguments and that is why you suffer and after so much suffering, die. Due to be a suffering one, you are convicted to die, without any clear, clean, perfect arguments and without defects. You do not know how to give a solution of any kind, you do not know why you are like that and much less what you are. What are you, enchanted ones? That is why you only know to say that the world is of suffering, that this world is of martyrdom, and of all cruel afflictions. You are only able to tell what you can see, about what goes on with everyone, but you are not able to tell why you are like that, much less what you are. If you knew what you are, since long you would not be like that and would not live like that. But because you do not know at least what you are, you live like that, horribly, in this hurricane of anguish. And now, through this universal writing of the clarification of the world's disenchantment, everyone will become disenchanted and will know everything in little details. The enchanted ones never knew where they came from or where they are going to, where this world came from and where it is going to. You know that everyone keeps dying and the world remains there, but you do not know its end much less its beginning. And so, this enchantment, which is already lasting for a long time, it has come the time of all solutions of everything and of all its makings. Therefore, you are enchanted ones who are now starting to become disenchanted. Do read daily, without wasting time, for you not to suffer as you have suffered and become immunized as soon as possible, for you to leave that infernal battle, that anguish, for you to get better in everything, for everything you need to be resolved. Then, 
Don't you see that this writing is from a savior, which is I, rational superior, putting the salvation in your hands and in everyone's hands. Those who have the happiness of knowing now what you are knowing, care immediately to read with persistence, repeatedly, all pieces, all lessons, for you to have all bases within you and become very knowledgeable and being able to explain the others. Being very knowledgeable to become immunized ones and acquire rational immunization. And so, the enchanted ones who are born in that enchantment, which is that world there, judging and thinking that life is indeed this one, but never accepting the suffering, the pains, the afflictions, or death. No one accepts death and at the same time, you pretend to accept the life, and that is why you say that life is really this one, always contradicting yourselves, due to you not accepting suffering and death. Therefore, you enchanted ones, be more grateful of what you are seeing, of what you are learning in this reading for your own benefit. Stay so, that moldy enchantment, everyone there, molded, ransacking everything very well to see whether you find the good and the good always in the infinite and suffering engulfing everyone. You stay in that terrifying enchantment, day and night, wasting time with this wisdom that says the world is a filth I maker, hard filth, soft filth, hard filth is a rocks and iron, but everything is filth and that is why everything melts. If it were not filth, nothing would melt, but it is filth of all kinds and forms. And so, there it is the enchantment and now, in your hands, the disenchantment and the salvation. Now the living beings have the real honey in their hands, which is the writing of eternal salvation done by rational immunization. The more the living being reads, the more immunized it becomes, until it becomes integrally with the persistence on reading. With the immunization, the living being has the solution to everything it needs and those solutions of elevation always in the life of the living being, who will see a thing never seen before. For the living being to become immunized as soon as possible, he needs to read daily, the more, the better. The future life will be much better than this modern one. This modern life is a life of the enchantment and the future life of everyone is that of the disenchantment, where the immunization will reign and instead of being enchantment, it will be the disenchantment. Instead of being spiritualization, of living by experiences, you will live immunized and right. Everyone immunized living very much differently from the way you used to live, as from water to wine. Everyone living with rational immunization, right in everything, united in all points of view. Everyone understanding one another, in agreement with one another, and disappearing the suffering, anguish, the complaints of life. And so, the future life will be much different from this one because everyone will understand one another, everyone will be immunized, and the will of one will be the will of all. What one knows will be known to all and everyone will live in equilibrium. The suspicion from one to another will end. The living beings will stop to live in distrust because what one knows, everyone else will know, what one does, everyone else will do. There will no longer be aggravations, there will no longer be deceit, no one will be able to deceive anyone because once the living being becomes immunized, it will know what everyone else knows. Life like that will become very different from this one. There is no one who does not want to know how it is, how it is not, and how it was born in the world. Then, there, rational immunization embracing everyone and all minds being equilibrated to the real point, and the modifications happening among all, big and small, as from water to wine. Everyone understanding one another, everyone in agreement with one another, everyone obeying this base because everyone depends on it. Now the infant asks, will it take long? Surely, it will not take long. I am here clarifying for the agonizing ones, who are weeping in the world, in doubts, in distrust, to be benefited with this thing they since long have been begging for and that they will only reach with rational immunization. Still the infant asks, but why doesn't rational superior care to make immediately this work so useful for the universe, the most useful thing that could exist in the universe? Why doesn't rational superior care of making this as soon as possible? I reply, everything will be done very soon. This is a clarification to open the minds of what is the most useful thing in that world, where everyone is begging for a different way of living because they cannot stand it anymore, bearing it, but always complaining, lamenting about life, like those who say, 
It is useless to live in the world under these conditions the world is in. There are no warranties, there is no peace, there is no happiness, only illusions and suffering. Hope is what soothes, but it is the one that annoys and bother. And the living being, always in hope, receiving the strokes of sufferings in a world unbearable to live in. That is why I say to you that when the writing be introduced in world, everyone will grab it with nails and teeth, rational immunization. This is only a call of attention for those who start to think about when this will be and for those who think that not everyone in the world will accept it, or that it will take long to be accepted. I understand, because the living being does not definitively understand what rational immunization is, but is starting to understand it now. When definitively understand it, bit by bit, it will no longer think like that. Look at what goes on in the world and all to say. It is the salvation of everyone and the most important discovery that exists in the world. And everyone will cry of happiness, in every corner. Who wants to carry on with the life as you are doing, among big and small ones, each time always worse. This is to call your attention of how rational immunization will be taken among all, the universal salvation. Where we came from and where we are going to up above there exists a great plain where the rationals live, much bigger than this world. They live with their progress of purity. Yes, pure, clean, without defects, different from all these animals. And in that plane there was a part that was not ready to enter in progress. Some rationals did enter into that part many times and were warned, and in one of these times they did not listen to the warning, starting to progress on their own, and that part, not being ready for progress, began to get deformed. The beginning and the origin of this world was so starting to progress on their own, on the part that was not yet ready, instead of going forward, they went back, instead of getting better, they got worse, because that part was not ready. Then, that part began to dislocate from the plane. As they were progressing, it went down, it went down always, until reached the conclusion that is there, inside a hole, looking up here and not knowing from where all of this came. As they were progressing, the part went down further. And so it did little by little, and they also got accustomed and thinking that they were doing very well. Then, with a certain time, as they were deforming, the plane was getting down each time more and they losing their virtues, as anything that transforms in other thing. The lost virtues started to gather, after all gathered they generated, with time, a formation of a dull silvery light, and the more they progressed, the further that part went down, and deforming more and the more they deformed themselves, the more they lost their virtues and the more the focus grew, and with time that light began to warm up. There it is the origin of the sun. It started to warm little by little, and they each time more losing their virtues, and as they lost their virtues, their bodies were getting smaller and this focus each time bigger, because in it was gathering the virtues which they were losing. After a certain time, that focus each time warmer and the more it got warmed, more it helped in their deformation. And so, that focus, each time warmer, started to warm up the part of this plane on which they were progressing, each time increasing its heat and each time everything deforming more and coming out from that part a resin that, with the heat, started to firstly to blister, after entirely blistered it started to become burned, roasted, and after roasted, it became ashes, not being in that occasion all even, but in various places. And the other part of the plane, the heat, started to melt, becoming soft, from soft, to gummy, becoming a thick liquid, with time, thinner, becoming water. There it is how water was made. Then, these bodies that were already deforming themselves, approached to their extinction, and the light warming each time more, and as it warmed, everything was deforming until, with time, all rational bodies extinguished, they lost all their virtues, thus coming the transformation of these bodies into other bodies. The ones who stayed on the gummy part and extinguished there, the one that stayed there, formed, with time, the male bodies and the bodies that stayed on the resin, already deformed into ashes, generated their other bodies, originating the female sex. Then, the bodies were still different from those like you are. The light focus warmed each time more, the gummy part turning into water on a vast area, and this water penetrating in the ashes of the resin, with time it got rotten, starting to generate microbes. 
At this point started the generation of the bodies. The water penetrated into the ashes, rotting it, and also rotting various parts of the gum, forming there, by own nature, the bodies, completely different from these. For the formation of those bodies it took a long time, and after those bodies done, they started to try to understand each other the best way possible, and, with time, as they were deforming, they were becoming developed each time more. And due to being living beings, they had to, by force, with time, get to understand each other. This progress, among them, was none. The focus warmed each time more and everything deformed itself. As deformation went on, everything kept coming down and the bodies, with time, were well developed in everything. They started to understand each other by waves and later by howling. They did not eat at that time, they were fed by own nature. Everything kept deforming more because of the light, the focus, got hotter even more, until it turned into a large ember, which is the sun. And so, those bodies being, or passing through various modifications, due to nature had been deforming, they started to transform, growing on the bodies of the living beings what did not exist before. Eyes, mouth, the bodies starting to enter into a more or less new shape. At this time they did not have hair or nails, they were deformed, but much worse than this deformation in which you live. And as everything kept deforming, the bodies were modifying, going through a certain eternity that seemed to last the way it was. As now, you are in this world, having already passed through an eternity, understand each other more or less, and think that the world will never be different. You think that life is as it is and that it will not leave this condition. In the first phase of transformation to the start of this deformation, the bodies were completely different. And the light focus warmed every time more. The other parts of the plane, due to them melting, became melted for good, and the bodies, always undergoing modifications, until they got to a point where they were more or less formed, they could already see, but were deaf and mute. They stayed like that during a long eternity. Yes, that you now consider yourselves advanced and are not born speaking or knowing anything, but only later, if someone teaches you, never mind back then. They stayed a long eternity like that, deaf, mute, they only could see. Afterward, with time, they started to hear. They took another long eternity like that. Later, the voice came out. They howled and yelped. In all these eternities, they were eternal, and all that prevailed was the light, but not as hot as now, after the complete deformation. Then, they understood each other by wave, after the waves, by howling and yelping, and during each of those phases, they thought they would last like that forever. Like now, you think that the world will stay like this for time to come. The light kept increasing its heat, driving the complete deformation of the resin and the gum. Even though there was gum on top, there was water underneath, and everything melted at once. As the heat rose, it melted, going down and down until they got to the point where you are now, in a hole, looking up there. In the eternity when they understood each other by howling and yelping, they were already advanced, and with time, they started to stutter, taking a long eternity with that stutter, they did not understand anything because they did not know how to talk. A stutterer not knowing how to talk keeps stuttering and they did not have who to teach them. With time, they started to become looser, more advanced stutterers. The voice started to open and they loosened of it each time more. While this went on, everything was slowly coming down, because the sun warmed, and while warming, increasing this heat, the part underneath kept deforming and as it got deformed, it became ashes, kept going down and down. With time, they became more advanced stutterer, starting to want to talk, but without notion of what they were saying. Each of those phases took an eternity, it seemed that it would never end. Until then they were eternal, because nature was not completely deformed, they were not yet totally animals, they did not sleep. It's the same thing, a tree, when born, does not show what it will be, after big is that it starts to show the limbs. Limbs in this direction, limbs in that direction. After formed, it is that it will bear its fruit. And such were the bodies, they did not become right away formed as you are now.
The deformation continued and later they became more advanced stutterers. They started to grunt, grum, 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 with each other and started to loosen the voice, lapidating it each time more. Each of those phases took a long eternity. It seemed that they would never leave that. At that time, there were no vegetables of any species because the ashes of the resin had not yet totally rotten due to the heat not being sufficient to penetrate into depth, where it went little by little. The stutterers, after the, grum, 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 it was how understood each other, started to loosen the voice very little and said anything, but did not know what they were saying. Later they started to pay attention and mark the things that they said. What one said, the other tried to say it too, with lots of difficulty. So, with time, they started to mark everything they said. For example, one would say, Ha, everyone would keep saying, Ha, one would say, Do, they keep on saying that forever, waiting for someone to say another word, until they formed a phrase that they could understand, but very vague. And so, they were always getting better with their way to understand each other, and after a certain time, they already understood each other, stuttering. As they loosen their voices, they have got a dry throat, starting to use water, but very little, starting with some drops in the mouth, in the primitive mouth, they were having pleasure with it more and more and making use of a big portion. The water started to dilate the organism little by little. During this passing is when that vegetation started to come out, but it was very different from this one. Why different? Because during that time, it did not rain. There was only the light focus. Then, they understood each other by stuttering and the way they understood each other was very insignificant. Until then, they were still eternals. The light each time increasing more, penetrating deeply its heat in the lower parts, which were covered by the ashes and these, rotten by water, generated microbes due to the rotting ashes and resin, giving origin to germs of all kinds, different from these. And so, they started to understand each other slowly, stuttering, they understood each other regularly, but far from having an understanding about things, yes, like animals, without knowing how to explain anything about their own origin, which is your origin. The vegetation each time more flowery, the light focus each time warmer and everything distancing from it, each time more. The use of water started to happen each time in larger amounts due to the effort they put into stuttering, coming from that the dilation of the organs and with the dilation of the organs, later coming the desire to eat. Eat this, eat that. Later, they started to eat vegetables they liked. Until then they were eternals. Then, with the use of vegetation in small amounts as food, they were deforming themselves each time more, and each of those phases was a very long eternity. With time, still much more deformed. They were eternals, new formations, already being there, in a progress of well-advanced stutterers, it was when the formation of the moon came in. The formation of the moon is from the deformed virtues of the resin and water, coming later the formation of the stars, also originating from the deformed virtues of the resin and the water, which gathered and deformed into those beings. That is why the moon has influence on everything on earth but the formation of these focus started without the influence of the moon. As the focus warmed, the vegetation was modifying and everything was coming down more. After everything almost deformed, the water in penetrating under the ashes, softened certain parts and these came to disappear, to submerge, because they disappeared and turned into water. Then, came there these divisions of the lands, of the countries. The more solid parts stayed, which are the countries that are there and the parts that were not solid disappeared, they dove and the people stayed separated from each other by the water. The water divided the lands with time you put the name, Earth. These people deformed each time more. Still stuttering, they did not speak, disengaging with time and finding a better way to understand each other. Here the divergence of the languages was born. The vegetation was modifying itself, many poisonous ones popping up. Starting then, the cases of death. They ate very little and this very little was slowly dilating the organs. As the organs were dilating, the living beings were increasing food intake and without knowing what could be good or bad, they many time fed with the poisonous herbs, those that killed. 
And so, it is when all the primitive ones started to die, little by little, poisoned and the new generations taking precautions, noting what could do good and what could do harm, finally, what they could eat. In that way, all the primitives and also the new generations were disappearing. Here, they were stutterers who understood each other more or less and during that period they were already down there, very down there, and then, the moon already appeared very clear and the stars also came out already. They were advanced stutterers, but did not yet have knowledge about things. In this phase, the deformation was almost all done, starting then to appear the day and the night, that was just when the primitive ones started to die and that deformation came to be almost totally to the beginning of what you are now. But stutterers they were, they lived like animals, did not have an understanding of things, a very vague understanding. When day and night started to exist, it did not rain. It started to rain much later, according to the modifications of the vegetables and animals. After the light focus warmed a lot and the resin being deeply deformed, it is that from the plane started to come out the vapor, from the heat of the earth, as you know it, as you coined it. And that vapor rising, accumulating at a certain height, gave later origin to rain. In this time, they were stutterers. Rain started then to appear, but it was a wimpy drizzle and then the vegetation was already different and the living beings started to get warm clothes to protect themselves from the weather. The moon did not have its quarters at that time, it was that silvery focus and only later, with the advancement of deformation, it is when the moon started to run its trajectory, started in its first quarter, then the second, the third, and then, much later, the fourth. Meanwhile, the inhabitants being born and dying, due to the poisonous vegetables they ate, because they did not know all the poisonous vegetables. Conclusion, much later, already all deformed, it started to spring up clearer understandings and so, each time more, if I have to continue, I have to explain a lot, to get to the current life you have. This is to know why no one ever gave solution to anything, and these explanations of these causes are to clear up and brighten this subject, to orientate and to have it well explained and clear for all who never knew how the world was made and never could know by whom it was made. During the time you were beginning stutterers, the vegetation also well advanced, being born from the very ashes that became rotten due to penetration of water, also being born microbes of all types, producing all these animals. They were born from the very ground and due to nature not yet being completely deformed, appearing a lot of animals, which do not exist anymore, which already extinguished their generations. And as the vegetables were modifying themselves, the ground paralyzed the formation of the animals. And so, until you got to the beginning of your progress, so many eternities already passed by. 21 eternities. And until you got to the beginning of this progress of yours, already all of your past had been forgotten by all. The moon already had its quarters and for the vegetation, the modifications were something different. Already all animals had already being born and other species of animals completely unknown, extinguished long ago. All of this when you were stutterers who did not understand each other and did not have notion about anything. This is why no one gave, neither could give solution of why you were so. Apparently you know it, but truly not, because all of this, all life transforms from one moment to the next. As an example, the cow gives milk, has life and gives life, from the milk one makes cheese, cheese left until the end of its duration starts to deform into animals and those animals turning into different lives. The living being is made of what? Of a gum. And this gum you call sperm, which has life and transforms itself into other microbial lives for the formation of the human body, which, after made and completed, becomes a factory of reproduction of lives. Such human, when dies transforms, yet, into other lives which are the microbes generated from the body and these microbes transform into other lives. Here it is the transformation of bodies. When humans were primitive stutterers, but with some understanding, they did alike the Indians to shelter from the weather. They dwelled in huts, dens, and caves, and from here they advanced each time more, until they made use of tents and shacks of straw and stones. And when that happened, the first steps of this progress were starting. Before the beginning of this progress, the knowledge was different, 
so is the way of living, and when they understand each other regularly, the progress was based on exchange, different, as also different the vegetation was. And so, due to everyone's virtues being gathered in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, in the resin and gum, which are land and water, from that, springed up the vegetables and animals, proceeding from the deformation, which came transforming everything and everything that transforms, diminishes. That is why everyone depends on these seven parts. And so, you are seeing that the body is formed from these seven parts. But why everything that transforms diminishes? Because of the following, a forest with bushes of all sizes, once clear cut, becomes something else. Once cut down and the bushes burnt, they turn into charcoal, transforming from what they were, turning into ashes, they diminished. Later, water getting into the ashes, they settle and become even smaller, the rotten after rotten, they turn into other beings, due to the microbes, the microbial life. Earth is a conjunct of animals, producing animals by all means and that is why there is the microbial formation, the animals. These are proven facts, well proven, to prove how is the beginning of the world and its end and of all, the way it will be, through rational immunization. Here it is the beginning of the world and the end, where you came from and where you are going to, how you came and how you will go. No one in the world knew where they came from or to where they were going to. You grew there like animals, live like animals and disappear without knowing how to give solution to anything. These facts are here enlightened in this writing to give to the living being the assurance and the knowledge that, in here, you find the solutions to everything, given by me, rational superior. This is for you to know who is rational superior, who is me, treating here to clarify everything appropriately to all universally, and for not confuse me with spiritism. Rational immunization, done by the rational, who is me, explaining who I am, what I am and what everyone is, what you were and why you quit being what you were to become who you are. And so, everyone who settles with rational superior, who is me, will live full of joy, satisfaction, and happiness due to knowing and getting rational immunization. In rational immunization is everything for everyone. That is why I say, read with persistence for you to know how to tell what this discovery is, in benefit of yourselves and of all. There it is the solid of the solids, the right of the rights, ending all doubt, taking all away from this land of misery where you live, molding in this enchantment, without knowing anything aside of what you see. The mysteries all there to be unveiled in this world, which is an enigma and everyone is enigmatic. Why is everyone enigmatic? Because your formation and the formation of everything stays there mysteriously. Mysterious bodies, because no one ever knew who made you or how you appeared in this world. Each human being is an enigmatic being due to finding themselves in this situation, without knowing how you were made, how you were formed, of what you were made, nor why you were made. You are, therefore, enigmatic in this world, which is an enigma and now you will stop being so due to the salvation, which is there in your hands. You will stop being suggested by this dirt, by this mud, by this muck, many times thinking and judging one thing for another. Admitting everything and thinking life is this one and never conforming to it, because no one is happy with suffering and less so with death. Therefore, so it was for the suggested ones and it really stopped being so, due to the conformities do not correspond. The suggestion and self-suggestion is what shine in the world as an element of apparent prestige, for the blind ones with open eyes, who never knew how to divulge what these things are, what the world is and what everyone is. The world reigns in this intense confusion, since from long centuries and veteran ages, everyone has been confused with the world and life, and always multiplying the confusions. Since you knew nothing, how could you divulge and define what is right? No way. Now, it is that you are seeing the origin and beginning of everything, before the origin of this deformation, how you were and why you stopped being what you were to be like you are. Everyone rolling on the clamor of adventures, but never were able to tell about these highs. And today, very happy and joyful due to having in your hands all of this writing, which show you that the infant is an animal, who lives like an animal, without knowing nothing. The Greeks with these gears were going to put all in shape by the philosophies, super philosophies, and tales. 
and such, so much nonsense and so many to beg in vain. Nonsensical people, now disappointed, seeing come to an end, all of these illusions, through the authentic knowledge of everyone's salvation. You never could put everyone in shape because there were never solid bases in the philosophies, super philosophies, and stories, as in the spiritism, which is the knowledge of itself. Why is it the knowledge of yourself? Because you all are spiritualists, live on experience, or also, you do not yet know what now is there in your hands. Therefore, all of these numbed, geared in this gear without solution, will become touched, astonished of knowing why you are so. There is no one who may say that found something without a qualification, because good cannot be said about the work which is the world's salvation. You did not know what salvation is, because you were never saved, now you are knowing what salvation is. It is something no one ever proved, now it is that you are seeing how it is and it is not. What the living being does not know, he does not admit that exists, only after knowing and seeing, it is that one says, that's it. The fluids. The arctopheric fluids are which give the substance of the human being, or which make the union of the harmony of the human being. The fluid of the water, the fluid of the earth, the fluid of the vegetables, the fluid of the animals, the fluid of the sun, the fluid of the moon, and the fluid of the stars, which are the fluids of the seeds of these seven beings, which are the cause and origin of the human body. Fluids of the seeds of the earth, water, vegetables, animals, and of the other arctopheric beings are which give life to humanity. Then it is asked, what is the fluid? Fluid is a living being which gives the effect and the cause of matter, because there is no effect without a cause. Here is the reason to say that the fluid gives life, since life without the fluid would not exist. It is because of the fluid that life exists. The fluid is an animating being, is an animated being, constituted by the action that gives origin to the things. Do you see the wind? No. Do you feel it? Isn't it very powerful? Well, the wind is a fluid. It is invisible. You feel its effects but you do not see it. So is the wind. You feel its effect, which is life, because without the wind, life does not exist. All stays dead, stuffy, all dies by suffocation, there is no air to breathe. That is fluid. One feels and sees its effect, as one sees and feels the effect of the wind. The wind is a fluid, because if there is no wind, if there is no air, everything dies suffocate. The wind gives life and maintains life. It is an invisible being, as the other fluids from the seeds of the seven parts are, which are the cause and origin of the human body. Then you ask, what is fluid? It is a being that proceeds from the seeds that produce and organize life and that, not to say fluid, you say seeds. All the microbes that constitute the human being were made from the fluids. The microbe has its origin in the fluid and the fluid is the animating being of the microbe. There is the electric fluid and the magnetic fluid. Electricity is a fluid that the person feels, but does not see, it gives life and takes life. Then, all beings have their fluids, because if the microbes exist, it is because the cause exists, which is the fluid. If there were no fluid, there would not be its effect, for all proceed from the fluidic effect, the electrifying action, which forms this microbial composition existing on this animal place, which you call Earth. The fluids of the beings are invisible, like the wind and like the electricity. You feel their effects, but do not see them. The wind, the electricity, and the other fluids are the origin of the beings. The wind is a fluid that gives life and maintains life. The electricity is a fluid that gives life, comprises life, and generates life. Because all of this, because all are fluidically born, because all beings are made of fluids, it is that no one has stability. What is the magnetic force? It is a fluid that hypnotizes. It magnetizes by means of the fluid. Then, there is the bad fluid and the good fluid. There it is the consequence of the sulfuric life, of the sulfuric beings, because they are originated from the fluid, from this condensation that produces this microbial mass originated from the animating fluids. Therefore, if it were not the fluids, there would not be microbes, if there were not the microbes, there would be no life. There are the fluids of the seeds, 
which are the microbes and from the microbes, the origin of human being formation. The sun has its fluid. The moon has its fluid. The stars have their fluid. So, these seven parts that form the world are the origin of the conjunct of life. Then, how are these fluids made? How is the wind made? How is electricity made? Everything is product of the electric and magnetic conjunct, which form the origin and the cause of this deformation, the before of all of this existing and the origin of all of this. Here comes the before you were what you were. Then, let us come to know what you were first for you to know what you are. What were you? Pure and clean rationals and without defects. And why did you come to be what you are? Because of disobedience and rebelliousness. They entered in this part which was not ready to enter in progress and from there all details are clarified with the continuation of this content of the formation of the universe and all its belongings, visible and invisible. That is why all of you have your good and bad fluids. There are people that only irradiate kind fluids and others only antipathy fluids. Then, there is the bad fluid and the good fluid. The fluid is a being that acts, builds, and destroys. The good fluid does as much good as the bad fluid does evil. What is an inhabitant of the invisible world? It is a fluidically electric and magnetic body. It is not visible to you, but it is to us. It is like the wind. You feel it, but do not see. Like the electricity. You feel it, but do not see it. So is the body of the inhabitants of the invisible world, who see you, but you do not see them, because you are microbes made from the fluids. Microbes become animals and then, the human body, which is a material conjunct of animals, because it is from this organic matter, it does not have the necessary strength to see the bodies that are superior to yours. It is a completely different composition. It is the same thing as the electricity and the wind. You feel their fluids but do not see them. The carbonaro, which is your origin, is a different life, inferior to the fluid which is superior to you, which are the consequences of the fluids. The shadow is the effect of the visible body. The body is the shadow of the fluid. The fluid is the shadow and the effect of the organic beings. The organic beings are the shadow of the before being. The before being is the shadow of what you were. The shadow of what you were is the shadow of what you were before. The shadow of what you were before is the shadow from where you came. The shadow from where you came is from the pure and clean bodies, bodies without defects. And why did they leave to this defeat? They left due to their own wish and the consequences are those, which are there, everyone suffering without knowing how and why they had this defeat. Then, did they not know that they would get in a bad situation? They did but they wanted to progress on their own wish. On the other part of the plane that exists here, there are others inhabitants who did not want to take that path, and are here with their progress of purity. And why did they take that path? Due to the simple wish to progress the part that was not ready to enter in progress. They kept progressing and until today are keeping this progress of destruction and in regression everyone goes, in large steps, not arriving to the extinction because it is coming soon the eternal salvation by means of rational immunization. To immunize, prove and confirm lapidately with base, solidity, all the knowledge of the beginning and end of all formation, in multiple times, in additional times, taken all proofs of this knowledge content brilliantly lapidated to unite everyone, to equilibrate everyone, and save everyone by means of the true knowledge of the being and the, before being, the why of life and the why of everything. Due to the confusing issues of the infants, I come to make all feel for not joking with serious things and not discuss what you don't know, wait for the time to come to know, because a person further ahead prejudices himself by making confusion where there are not. To learn, patience and time are needed. What is the heat? It is a fluid. You feel the heat, but do not see it. You feel the effect of the heat and see its effect. You feel the cold, but do not see it. You see the fluid of the cold and see its effect. Thus, there are the fluids of the seeds that gave origin to the microbes and the microbes to human beings and all beings, being earth and animal bearing. You feel the perfume, which is a fluid, but do not see the fluid of perfume. The fragrance is the consequence of the perfume. You see the perfume, but the smell you don't, and of all, finally. 
For the delayed one who does not want to see, it is necessary to explain in every way, in every form, to know that from the fluids were born the beings and the beings are a consequence of the fluids, which, in its turn, form the bodies, form lives that generated this formation all existing in the world, because are in the fluids and in the fluids is the origin of everything. In the fluid is the most powerful force of the universe, which is the conjunct of the fluids generated from the seven parts and the consequence of this formation. The fluid of the day, electric. The fluid of the night, magnetic. The day is warm and the night is cold. The positive with the negative. Now you say, fantastic. Then, wait, that with patience all knowledge will be realized, all knowledge will be given to you. Then you say, fantastic. Extraordinary. I warn you all that you should not discuss and even less give opinion to not make mistakes, but wait to be educated of what you do not know from this writing. The greatest fortune of the entire world is here, which is the rational knowledge, the knowledge that everyone needs, the beginning of all and the end of all. Then, the rational knowledge is the greatest treasure of all, since it is the salvation of all, showing now that the fluids of the seeds are the cause and the origin of the beings that are organized there which are all the bodies, which you did not know their origin because you did not know the fluids that cause the beings. And because everything is made by fluids, it is that all is made fluidically and fluidically are destroyed. From the fluid proceeds everything and the everything for being fluid, reduced to nothing. It generates, is born, growths, and disappears, reducing to nothing fluidically because it dies. The fluid is a deleterious and thus it appears and disappears. It has life and loses life. Everything dilates and decomposes. From the black fluid, it was born the black. From the white fluid, it was born the white. From the yellow fluid, it was born the yellow. And from the red fluid, it was born the red. And thus, here is the reason of colors. This issue is a very important explanation. Very beautiful, detailed, minutely, multiplied, rationally. It is an exciting subject. What is it worth to have life, live without knowing why to live? It is worth nothing. It is talking like a parrot, make plans and keep navigating like that without knowing what to say. Your wish will come true. Wait a bit that everything will come. It is the knowledge that everyone needs. To know why you live, and not live like that anymore, maintaining the enchantment, the weeping, and the agonizing suffering, which is the greatest brilliant of everyone in the world, where everyone suffers and say that knows and suffering proving that you do know nothing and, because you do not know anything, suffering is the greatest brilliant of the day. If you knew, you would not suffer. If you knew, you would not die. If you knew, you would not live agonizing, like everyone who inhabits this earth. Everyone in agony, some less, some more, and some who do not stand it any more. Then, for not knowing, for missing to everyone the knowledge, it is that you usually say, life is of suffering until we die. Who are you, that the illusion is so great, incapable to define your I, and to know the definition of the I, and a you, which are electric and magnetic apparatus, formed in this nature, which is an electric and magnetic conjunct, and because you are electric and magnetic apparatus, formed from this electric and magnetic nature, it is that you are like a machine, with its motor. And thus, the head is the watch that receives the electric and magnetic fluids, which are the thoughts. The, I, is the house of the fluid. The electric and magnetic fluid irradiates over the, I, of the person. The, you, is the whole you see of the person, being the person two in one. From inside of the person, the electric and magnetic fluid works, which are the thoughts. The bad thoughts are irradiated from the magnetic part, the good thoughts are from electric influence. So, thought is a fluid, the fluid lives within the electric and magnetic person and that is why people do not stop thinking, because they are connected to those two currents, because they are made and formed by this such nature. So, you are electric and magnetic apparatus, which receive all intuitions, all communications, which are the thoughts, all ideas, after all, Everything that enters the person, which makes the person to think all sort of things, it is the fluid. As the electric and magnetic fluids enter the apparatus, which is the person, also enters rational immunization, 
which is a different fluid, from this nature, from this electric and magnetic conjunct. So, there it is the, I, and the, you. The, you, is the whole that you see of the person and the, I, no one sees because it is the fluid, one only feels it. People feel that they are thinking about this, that, that other thing because they are electric and magnetic apparatus, formed from this nature, which is an electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct and this is why the person is an electric and magnetic fluidic body, being an electric and magnetic apparatus, which is connected to these two forces, which keep the person not stop thinking. The bad thoughts are from the bad fluid origin, the person feels the thought but does not see it, because it is a fluid, it is from the magnetic side. The good fluid is from the electric side. The thought is a fluid, which the person feels, but does not see. The same way the person receives those two currents from nature, because the person is an apparatus formed by it, also receives rational immunization. Once the person is in daily contact with the knowledge from rational immunization, the person goes on immunizing, the immunization enters within the person, as does any thought from the electric and magnetic, but much superior because it is from the person's origin because the person is from rational origin. Then, spring up the equilibrium and welfare of the person, by means of rational immunization fluid within the person. Even with any thought or any other fluid, with the immunization within the person, it goes on immunizing the person with the good fluids and the person overtaken by the good fluid of rational immunization and the bad fluid cannot, never again, enter the person and cause damage through this or that malady. From there, then, the cures start to happen through the good fluid, because the fluid gave cause and origin to all beings. Because the person is an electric and magnetic body, the person is in contact with the fluids, because the being is this one, due to belong to this fluidic nature, electric and magnetic nature, and thus, coming the salvation of the person, through rational immunization. All are electric and magnetic apparatus, formed by this nature, which is an electric and magnetic conjunct, and this is why the person is in contact with these two electric and magnetic forces and that is why the thought does not stop, because it is always irradiating with those two currents. And so being, the person becomes immunized by rational immunization, which is from the true nature of the person's being. Rational immunization, which is such a natural thing, and because of it, only after the person becomes immunized, it is when the person will feel this reality, it is a different thought from the electric and magnetic because it is a thought that talks with the person. So, there it is the, I, and the, you. Being rational immunization the knowledge of the true natural of the person, it is a different thought of this from the electric and magnetic, there, from this enchantment, it is a thought from rational plane, it is a thought from the origin of the animal being from where everyone left, where everyone came from and how everyone are going to, through rational immunization. Therefore, everyone belong to this nature, everyone is from this nature and everyone becoming immunized because the natural is this, everyone is electric and magnetic apparatus. Everyone is from rational and due to that receives all transmissions or transmission from the rational part, as received from this electric and magnetic conjunct the electric thoughts and the magnetic thoughts which are the fluids, thus you feel them, but no one sees the thought. The thought is a fluid. The immunization is a fluid, but it is a superior fluid to the electric and magnetic, which are from there of this deformation. Therefore, any person, by nature, is an electric and magnetic apparatus and it is linked to the rational part, receiving all transmissions from the rational part fluidically, as received from there, the electric and magnetic thoughts, all the electric and magnetic transmissions, fluidically. To arrive to this conclusion, you only need to read the book Universe in Disenchantment, to know your true nature of electric and magnetic apparatus, made and formed by this nature, which is an electric and magnetic conjunct, and for being apparatus of this formation, that is why you get all the explanation from the place of origin of all, which is rational plane. You receive all orientation through the positive thought, Whereas the electric and magnetic is negative, because it is deformed and rational immunization is positive. Thus, the equilibrium and all explanation brought to the person by rational immunization. The, I, is the house of the fluid. The, I, is the inner personality, 
It is where the exterior understands itself, talks with itself, makes plans, finally, from the I, is that comes everything of the you, which is the personality. The I, drives the you, the I, guides the you, because it is what the person thinks, idealizes, it is what the person creates inside of the I, it is what the person externalizes, this, that, that other thing that comes from the I, of the fluidic personality. The thought is the bad or good fluid, electric fluid or magnetic fluid. So, the immunization gets in the I, of the person the same way the electric and magnetic fluid enters and the immunization fluid balances the electric and magnetic, because you are deformed and unbalanced. Once rational immunization fluid, which is the true natural of the person, from the origin of the person, who is a rational animal, who is from rational origin, from rational plane, once the person gets the rational fluid, the person becomes equilibrated because the rational fluid starts to talk into the I of the person, who is the house of the fluid. Instead of being the electric and magnetic, it starts being the fluid from rational immunization, which is superior and the true being is this one and this is why you are rational animals. Then, the person will start to be guided by the person's true being, by the person's true natural of rational, disappearing the animal part because the person is being guided by his origin base, rational plane. Thus, in the rational fluid, in rational immunization, is all the equilibrium of the animal being and the reason why you did not know it. You knew that you were rational animals, but not why. You did not know your origin and today, knowing your origin, which is rational plane, knowing where you came from and where you are going to and how everything originated. Therefore, the I, the inner personality, understands and communicates with the outer personality, which is the electric and magnetic fluid and the rational fluid dominates and eliminates the electric and magnetic fluid, because the electric and magnetic is from evil, from matter, from the enchantment and the rational fluid is from disenchantment, is from the true natural being of the human being, for being from rational plane. Then, in the I, is everything, because the I, dominates the you. The person, before doing this or that, first thinks what is going to say, what is going to do, what is going to solve, starts to talk to it, with the outside. Then, many, because they do not know their being, say, I am receiving this intuition. The intuition is the fluid. Because many times the person does not know the reason of the electric and magnetic fluid, of the electric fluid's action, of the magnetic fluid's action, then the person says it is receiving an intuition or receiving an inspiration. It is not an inspiration, but a communication from the electric or magnetic fluid. Others say, I am rachicinating because I am a rational animal, but I am ignorant of my origin. Today, then, you are knowing your origin and how to communicate with it and how to join it, which is rational immunization. Then, it is the fluid that guides the person, because it gives this or that thought. Once the person possesses the immunization fluid, gotten from the knowledge of his own natural, always going from good to better, starts to succeed in everything, because you will receive from the rational fluid all precise orientations for your equilibrium, for the goodness, for the happiness of everyone. Therefore, in the fluids is everything. Care for knowing what rational immunization is, to become immunized by the rational fluid, then, this fluid guides the person in everything, eliminate the ills of the body, because the effect of the magnetic fluid ceases and the effect of the electric fluid ceases. Cease, then, the ills of the body, because the rational fluid eliminates the bad fluid, the magnetic fluid and the electric fluid. Despite being electric and magnetic apparatus, but you are, indeed, electric and magnetic apparatus of rational category, and now knowing the true natural of your being and the true natural of all beings. Therefore, the I understands with the invisible personalities of the electric and magnetic or of rational plane. Once the living being is immunized, the understanding is from the place of origin and so, the fluid is what dominates the person, is what guides the person, and that is why everything the person will do, first thinks how is going to resolve, how has to resolve, after that, then, put it in execution, if goes this way, if goes that way, if will do this, if will do that, first thinks. 
It is the thought which is the person, which is the good or bad fluid, and once the person is guided by the rational fluid, only goes always from good to better, because the fluid talks inside the person, inside its house. Therefore, care to become immunized, to know your true natural, to get rational immunization, the rational fluid, so that everything goes right in everyone's life. The rational fluid is positive and the electric and magnetic fluid is negative, because it is deformed, because you are beings from deformation and because of this you live there in constant disarray, due to the electric and magnetic fluid. The magnetic fluid brings sadness, annoyance, contrariety, hopelessness, agony, bad dreams, bad thoughts, disconcerting thoughts, mistrust, fear, brings everything bad. All of this, effect of the magnetic fluid, and that is why the human being becomes unbalanced, due to the magnetic fluid, which only brings disturbance to the human being, because of it being worse than the electric fluid. The electric is bad because it is deformed, and the magnetic fluid is even worse, because in it is all evil, it is the destroying fluid. To eliminate the influence of these two fluids, only rational immunization fluid, then eliminates these two, because rational immunization fluid is of superior category, because it is not from here of the electric and magnetic, it is from rational plane, it is from rational immunization, it is only good, and from good everyone goes always to better. From it the equilibrium is never had, and then all from good to better on the whole world, trough the orientations and conferences done with rational immunization inside your inner being, inside your being that communicates with your outside and that comes from inside, from inside your being, which is rational immunization. Then, cease the suffering of you all, because you will not be subject to the electric and magnetic fluids anymore, from there comes the good of all and the true happiness, because the person then starts to live right and is right about everything, cease, then the doubts, mistrust, and fears, because will receive all the precise orientations for the equilibrium of your life. Then, it is there, the biggest discovery of all times, rational immunization, and many, at start, got confused because they did not know how to interpret, for ignoring, not know, for not have knowledge of what is rational immunization. The, you, which is the whole of the person, which executes what is within the, I, which is the fluid that gives this or that thought, to do this, that, or this other thing, therefore, it is in the, I, the superiority. The, I, in first place, the, you, in second place, because the, I, governs the, you, which is the whole of the person. The command comes from the inside to outside, it comes from the inside, which is the electric and magnetic fluid. But, once immunized, only the fluid of rational immunization functions in the, I, it eliminates the electric and magnetic, because it is the fluid from the true natural being of the person, which is from rational origin. For being deformed and become rational animals, they turned into animals and that is why you came from animals, or made from the animal, which are the microbes and the viruses. Then, there is the whole and the everything that everyone needs most, which is rational immunization. Then, do not waste any more time, care to know and read with persistence for become immunized and not anguish any more the way you have been anguishing, and not suffer any more than you have been suffering, for you not to stay in this agony, in this doubt, in this state of, is it? Or, is it not? All for being troubled beings by the electric and magnetic fluid.